Hi, my name is Sam. Our group's project was over the RMS Titanic. The Titanic sunk after hitting an iceberg on April 14, 1912 at 11.40 p.m. Of the 2,200 passengers aboard, about 1,500 of them died in the disaster. This was due to the lack of lifeboats on the Titanic and the cheap steel used in production. The steel was brittle and not up to standards at the time. I'm done. Hi, my name is Logan. I'm going to be going over the analysis of the engineering disaster. Basically what happened is the Titanic used cheap brittle steel which would crack rather than bending or conforming when in contact with something. So when the Titanic made contact with the iceberg, the iceberg left a large hole in the front of the hull of the ship. This hole let water fill the ship really quickly and water rapidly began to fill the watertight compartments near the bottom of the ship because they were only horizontally watertight, meaning water could fill them through the top. Once water began to fill the watertight compartments, the weight distribution of the ship started to be uneven, which began the ship to kind of start to sink and the front of the ship started to go down before the back, which is why the Titanic split in half as it was sinking. Hi, my name is Enrique and I'm going to go over a few recommendations on how the sinking of the Titanic could have been prevented. First, um, it could have been constructed with a double hull. Second, uh, the quality of the riveting and steel plates could have been a better quality. And third, Captain Smith could have um, responded differently to the numerous ice warnings that he received. Hello, my name is David and I'm going over the sequence of events that happened during the Titanic disaster. The Titanic took off around noon, and throughout the day it received many iceberg warnings. Around 11.40, the Titanic hit an iceberg and sunk. Two hours after, the Corinthian boat picked up all the survivors 